one host to another is a lot like changing addresses. The overall process is pretty straightforward, but there are plenty of things you need to watch out for when making the move. Here to give us a step-by-step -step on successfully migrating your website from an old host to a new one is CNET executive editor and my co-host on the Sword and Laser podcast, Tom Merritt. It's great having you on the show. Hey, it's good to be here. I'm, I'm going on Buzz Out Loud next week, too. It's an exchange program. An exchange program. Yeah. That's good. Um, so you're like super web guy. You, you do a lot of this web host migration stuff all the time. You have I a lot suppose. of different shows. You have a lot of different websites. I have a, yeah, I have a dozen blogs or so. A dozen? Yeah. Huh, that's more like than I have. Belmont08.com. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my bid for uh, my presidential campaign. Yeah, I'm sorry that didn't work out, by the way. You know, there's always the next three years. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, I just ran into some trouble with my old web host uh, where they were having some downtime issues, and I was like, you know what? I need to get to a new web host, and that's always a pain. Yeah. Uh, so I just migrated everything out. Did a little scene at TV video, figured I, I could share it with the Techzilla crowd too. Yeah, well, take us through the process. All right, so you want to start by getting all your files off the old site, right? So you'll need an FTP program for that. I'm assuming if you're migrating a web host, you probably already know how to put the files up on a web host. So this part should seem pretty obvious. You have a little obvious. experience with that yeah, already. But you, yeah, I like FileZilla. There's WizFTP is still out there in a free form here and there. Uh, QtFTP, do people still, still QtFTP, use QtFTP? CyberDuck is, a, is one for the Mac. Uh, but files, I use Transmit for the Mac. It's, do you it's, use Transmit? It's not free, but like it is it? really, really great, yeah. Well, FileZilla is free, uh, and free is my favorite price. So you use that to uh, go in and get all of the files from the directory that you're moving. So in my case, I've got a bunch of different sites. I'm only gonna move one at a time, mm -hmm. just to keep it all straight. Uh, and that's really as easy as highlighting everything and just you know dragging it over in, into a local file. I do recommend that you just drag this into a brand new file, because a lot of people actually have a directory where they keep all of their files as they put them up and pull them back down. Mm -hmm. But I say do it clean, that way you're not overwriting anything, and if something goes wrong, you still have your old local backup that you can restore from. So you think it's better to just copy all your files over using FTP as opposed to using some kind of migration tool? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't use a migration tool because I want to be involved in every bit of the process and make sure I get everything. Uh, I mean, if you're use, most of the migration tools are usually moving from a service to another, mm -hmm. uh, usually, and I don't trust them. So should you just follow the same exact file structure as you were using on your previous web host, or is yeah. there any special structures depending on which host you're going to? Well, if you've got, if you, depending on how your web host works, but most of them, you've got a directory with all your files, just right-click that, put that on your drive, and that's why I'm saying don't try to use your local file, your local directory, use this one, and then, you'll go to your new web host uh, and create a domain because you're gonna actually move the domain as well. Now, here's one thing that people need to know too is when you move your domain, create the domain at the new host, move all the files up there, test that all first before going to your registrar and changing your domain name because you wanna make sure it all works so you can have a seamless transition. All the people visiting your site, they get the site in full no matter what happens. And also, try to do it in as short a time as possible, right? Because if you download the files on Friday and then you get around to uploading them on Monday and then by Wednesday you change the domain, well, there may be comments or things that were made on your blog over that time that you're gonna lose. Uh, and that's the other thing. If you're doing something like a WordPress or a TypePad, you wanna make sure you go into PHP and pull out all of, the, uh, all of, that, all of those files and restore them up at PHP at your new host. So don't forget all of those other little things like databases and CGI bins and all that stuff. And of course you should back up everything before you even get started with this process. Well that's, that's actually what you're doing to start, right? You're, you're starting yeah, by you're backing, backing it, it all up, up to another place, and then you're gonna right. put it up in a new place, you're gonna make sure it works there and you're not gonna touch anything of that old host. And even after you go into the, uh, the registrar and you change the name servers, because that's kind of the big step, is like, okay, I want the name servers to point at the new place. Mm -hmm. Try that out, make sure that's work. Let, let that sit for a couple of days, actually, before you go and turn off the old web host, before you cancel that well, account because everything, the everything. DNS has to all propagate throughout the web as it well. It can take an hour, it can take 24 hours for the DNS to propagate, and you also want to make sure that you didn't miss anything. You know, after a week or so of po poking around, you may say, oh wait, that script doesn't work anymore because I left that one in the CGI bin. So give yourself a little time. All right. And that's it. And then you're done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I have a, a bigger write-up and a, a longer video at CNETV.com if folks, you know, want to get links and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, the main steps are to go slowly. 
and do it in logical order and do it all at once. Yeah. Uh, and don't try to move a bunch of domains at once. Do one, move on, do the other. Now you mentioned that you have 12 or so different blogs on the internet. Where should people find your work? What are your top picks for sites <laughs> that people should go to? My top five of my own <laughs> blogs are, uh, just go to tommerritt.com. That's, that's the easiest place because that links out to everything else.